Welcome to day 5 of our 21 day prayer and devotion. Thank you for tuning in every day and I'm I'm sure God is ministering to you through what you have been learning through the scriptures over the last 4 uh, days. Today we're going to look at Psalm 27 and um, receive a little bit of wisdom for the new season um, today. Psalm 27 a uh, few verses from psalm 27 the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall i be afraid when the wicked advance against me to devour me it is my enemies and my foes um who will stumble and fall though an army besiege me my heart will not fear though war break out against me even then i will be confident one thing i ask from the lord this only do i seek that i may dwell in the house of the lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the lord and to seek him in his temple for in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock what a optimistic and a confident declaration of um david about his god i mean when you read a psalm like this it fills you with this um with this confidence that is you know it's like a booster right to us a, a spirit booster it uh, uh, you know if you can if you can really understand what david is singing at this point of time you feel really really good about this psalm and um if you are rejected dejected and uh, feel sad this kind of gives you that um um uh, confidence boost but david has always been not like that david was rejected in his life um he comes out of a sense of being rejected you remember the time samuel went searching for the new king and david's father invited every one of david's brother except for david uh, david knew what rejection means he probably grew up with the sense of rejection uh, from the very childhood up until the point uh, samuel anointed him to be the next king i don't know what you grew up with but i grew up as a very shy person as a person who is intimidated by uh, standing in front of people and talking and uh, that scared me a lot one of the things that i prayed to god in bible school was don't don't ask you know i i don't i do not want to become a preacher that was one of my biggest prayers to god because i was afraid uh, of standing up and speaking in front of people you know let alone um a big group of large group of gathering even in front of two or three people i would stumble to find my way to talk i was shy it came from a a sense of being abandoned as a child uh, being rejected as a child and being a, you know a person who always thought i'm not accepted i'm i'm i felt i was not normal most of us don't have confidence because of something like that a sense of rejection a sense of abandonment a sense of uh, helplessness um, inadequacy keep us from enjoying the new season with new things um, even though we have a change of heart and uh, even though we consciously work on trying to look at the world from the perspective of god we still feel fear uh, engulfing us in you know keeping us from exploring new territories in our life we don't have that confidence and that's what david was talking about in psalm 27 and then describing in his description of his confidence in god he also gave away the secret um for uh, which helped him to gain that kind of confidence and here are the two things that i've learned from this psalm that i believe are necessary for us to um, do in order to gain confidence a new level of confidence in order to enjoy new seasons in our life uh, how do oh, oh, the first thing is this that david chose to spend time in the presence of god the same david who is rejected by his own father in psalm 27 verses 10 in fact he says even if my father and mother abandon me the lord 
will hold me close he says um you have you have always been my helper you've always been my savior even my parents have rejected me but you have how did that sense of belonging um grew within the heart of david it's because he spent time in the presence of god spending time in the presence of god just like how you're doing right now is necessary for us to boost our confidence levels refer us to reach new levels of courage and confidence in order to uh, move forward to do new things in our lives so how, how much time do you actually spend in the presence of god is a question to think about you see in the presence of god not only you gain confidence you receive healing his healing he he makes you complete there is a wholeness that comes in when we spend time in 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 the presence of god it is in the presence of god that we can pour out our hearts um and know that he hears our prayers and accepts us in spite of our weaknesses then like david we can also sing he restores my soul in fact that's what happens in the presence of god so that's one secret there's another secret the other secret is this that david knew who he belongs to my father and mother forsook me but you oh my lord you held me close david knew who he is in his god you see that expression itself is of a son who is enjoying his divine father's presence so while he knows that the presence of god is the confidence booster he also knows the knowledge of who his god is and who he is in his god is a confidence booster we reach to newer levels explore newer things with more courage if we know who we are and then if we choose to spend um in the presence of god you see that's what helped david to overcome his sense of rejection that's what helped me to overcome the sense of being abandoned and rejected uh that's what would help you to overcome whatever is um keeping you from gaining confidence and uh, it'll help you to grow to a newer level if you spend time in the presence of god and um have the knowledge of who you are in um, god you see i believe we can all walk with the same confidence that david walked with as we looked at psalm 27 as i believe we can also conquer new territories in our lives with more boldness more courage more more confidence without fear if we can allow god to deal with our fears in his presence if we can allow god to heal our hurts in his presence we'll be able to enter into a new season with a greater level of confidence knowing who we are uh, in god who our god is and um, what he can do for us take some time to thank god um, for healing you for your from your past hurts and insecurities but if there are still some hurts and insecurities that you need to deal with spend time in the presence of god so that he can bring healing and transform your insecurity into confidence what are those some emotional baggages that you are still carrying around this morning This is the time to bring those emotional baggages late at the altar so that you can gain confidence to move forward. Do you have the confidence that you are richly blessed, highly favored and deeply loved by a wonderful God? You can only gain that confidence in the presence of God. May you choose to spend time with him today. God bless you.